Hi, this video tutorial I will cover data output stream. Here you can see the file. Here you can see Java application. Java application can use uh, data output stream to write primitive data types to output stream in a portable way. Output stream in turn writes data to file. Output stream can be file output stream or buffered output stream etc. Usually data output stream used together with data input stream. Using data output stream we can write data to a file. Later using data input stream we can read data from a file. Like we discussed using data output stream we can write primitive data types like int, long, float, double to a output stream. Data output stream class belongs to java.io package. Super class of uh, data output stream is filter output stream. Super class of uh, filter output stream is output stream. Super class of uh, output stream is object. Data output stream class implements closable data output, flushable, and uh, auto closable interfaces. Data output stream class supports uh, only one constructor which accept output stream. Using this constructor, we can create a data output stream object. Here you can see the methods supported by data output stream class. Flush, size, write methods, write boolean, write byte, write bytes, write care, write characters, write double, write float, write int, write long, write short, write utf. Here I have defined the class uh, data output stream demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created uh, data output stream demo object. Then I am calling uh, write primitive data method. Inside write primitive data method, I have created uh, data output stream object using data output stream constructor which accept uh, output stream. Output stream I am passing as uh, file output stream. Here I have created a file output stream object using file output stream constructor which accept file name. File name is data.bin. Here I am writing primitive data types to data.bin file. Inside finally block I am closing data output stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully written primitive data to data.bin file. I am refreshing this project. Here you can see data.bin file is created. Open with the text editor. Here you can see the content. Now we will see using data input stream. How to read this uh, primitive data types from this uh, data.bin file. Here I have defined the class uh, data input stream demo. It has main method. I will run this program, then I will explain. Here you can see the output. Inside main method, I have created data input stream demo object. Then I am calling uh, read primitive data method. Here you can see read primitive data method. Inside read primitive data method, I have created data input stream object using data input stream constructor which accept input stream. Input stream I am passing as file input stream. Here I have created file input stream object using file input stream constructor which accept file name. File name is data.bin. Here using data input stream, I am reading uh, primitive data types from data.bin file and uh, displaying the output. Here you can see the output. Inside finally block, I am closing uh, data input stream. And uh, this is about uh, data output stream and uh, thanks for watching.